if this is about about the storm and uh, can, can I read this or maybe we can read it, put, it, put it there it says one day Jesus said to the disciples let us go everybody say let us go let us, let us go. go over the other side of the lake so th th there's an instruction there God has had the confidence for all of us let us go to the other side of the lake so they got into a boat and set out as they sailed he fell asleep a squall I give you the meaning of a squall once man came down on the lake so that the boat was being swamped and they were in great danger Every one of us every day is facing that some kind of danger that sometimes is unexpected. But I will show you something here. God's given me a revelation about this particular passage here. And then the disciples went and walked him saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was what? What happened? Oh. And all was come. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. In fear and amazement, they asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the wind and even the water, and they obey him. Take note of this in previous chapter. Those disciples already witnessed a lot of miracles. He heals a lot of people. That's he, he, even, he even prayed for this widow woman who has only one son. And they, 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 the people were already lining up and ready to bury him. But Jesus, I think that was in chapter, if I'm not mistaken, it's in, in uh, chapters 4 or 5. When the widow... Oh, it, it's here. Look, hold on. It, it's... it's it's right here. Jesus rises a widow's son. Right? It's, it's right there in chapter uh, chapter 7 and verse 11. But before I continue, just a little bit, uh, let's pause this. Let's watch this, this song because I want us to, to take note of this, these words that is in there. Check this out. Be strong and courageous. 
For the Lord is who? Is where? It's It's always there. What else? What else? We will not be afraid. Afraid and then we will not be moved. moved. Don't be moved on what you see and what you hear and what you feel. Because God already certain He said that I will never leave you or forsake you. That was one of, one of his uh, promises. A squall means it's a sudden or sharp increase in wind speed, which is usually associated with active weather. That was what had happened uh, in, 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 in IV that I was reading here. Uh, let me read it to you. It says, One day Jesus said to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat. Everybody say boat. Oh. We need to be in a boat. Right? To go out there. To reach the place where we're going. Both here in this day and time. In this modern age. It rep represents our church. You have to be part of the church. The boat. As they say. He fell asleep. Mm. Who, 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 who fell asleep? Peter, Jesus. Jesus. John. Jesus fell asleep. Right? And what happened? A squall. Came down. A sudden sharp increase wind speed so i believe in our lives there's things that have happened that are unexpected we don't know what happened why these things happen to me you know is that's why and many times we don't even have the answer and we don't know what to do and what does it says here be what be strong be strong, don't fear, be still, right? Be still, especially when you are in the midst of anger. Mm -hmm. Don't react right away because there will be a tendency for us to what? To yell and to scream and to be upset, to be mad. And we might say something that is inappropriate. Yes. And that's why just be calm, be still. Make sure that what we represent as believers as Christian is God who can do great and mighty things Amen. in our behalf, Amen. in our strong, because God is, is strong. Amen? Amen? He is there for us. As they got into the boat and set up, oh no, as they said, he fell asleep. If Jesus fell asleep, if he is God and at the same time he is man, and then those disciples saw him make or made those miracles, right? I, I, I was so fascinated. Even Peter, what, what happened in, in I think it, that was in uh, in verse uh, in chapter 5 or 4 when Jesus healed so many people and even Simon, that was that was Peter Simon mother's in law was suffering from high fever and they asked Jesus to to help her so make the story short Jesus healed him, the mother of Peter Peter saw by he, with his very eyes about the miracles and after that many many miracles Jesus performed it says here at sunset, the people brought to Jesus all who had various, everybody say various, Very. all kinds of diseases. What kind of diseases? You could imagine those kind of diseases right there. The sickness, laying his hands into each one. He healed them. Moreover, demons came out, many people, and shouted. What I'm saying is, the disciples saw those miracles that took place before that storm came in the, in the, in the midst of them, right? Mm -hmm. So what will be our reaction? Even we as being a Christian for a long time, there's so many things that if this sudden, this is called, the sudden storm came into, in front of our face and we don't know how to confront it. Mm -hmm. We don't know how to confront it. But in fact, God has already given us the tools. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, trust and believe in Him. Hallelujah. Everybody say hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.